Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another new video. And today I've got the glove on again, got the hat on, clubs are behind me, full box of Pro V1s that I'll never open and use because they're just gonna wind up in a lake or the bushes. So that means it must be a golf video. That's right, today we're doing some golf cards yet again. So today we've got a hobby box of Artifacts Golf from Upper Deck 2021 Artifacts. This one featuring eight packs per box and four cards per pack. This will be the third set of golf cards I've done. A uh, Upper Deck has currently three sets of golf cards. They all mirror hockey cards, which is kind of neat as a hockey card guy. I like that a lot. I also found out that I really enjoy the golf cards. Uh, so, like, so I've opened the other two. Uh, the other two being SP Authentic Golf, G SP Game Used Golf, and now finally Artifacts Golf. So all sets that I love in the hockey world and uh, all sets that so far, I mean, I haven't opened this one yet, but the other two really like in the golf world. So just wanted to open all three, get an idea of what all three are like and just know what favorites are going forward. So, you know, probably open them all in the future anyway, but I want to pick a favorite out of these three or anything. So, so yeah, so I picked up a hobby box of this stuff on an eBay auction, I think. I think it was like all it says taxes, shipping, everything, and it was just over 200 bucks. So not the cheapest stuff, but uh, similar price to, I guess, what Artifacts Hockey is now. Artifacts is cheaper now, but... But uh, when Artifacts came out, it was like 189 here, 179 whatever it is. So a little bit more money than that. I also don't know what the MSRP of it, what this came out last summer was, but whatever the heck this came out. At any rate, uh, it took a long time to get here. I bought this one on like December, like 6th or something like that. And it like just showed up today. It's the 20th, 30th today. It's the 30th today and it just showed up. So shipping was brutal. I guess that's what you get for buying something at the start of the holiday season. Canada Post just sucks sometimes. So is what it is. So uh, there we go. So yeah, it'll be interesting to, like I said, compare this stuff to the hockey stuff. It's always fun to do that. Big golf fan. So I love, I've really found that I really enjoy actually opening the golf stuff so it'd be fun to open this one and uh, it's always fun to sort of draw parallels between the hockey sets and the golf sets as well so so yeah so this is 2021 2021 was the first time since 2014 that upper deck actually had a license to do uh, any golf cards so they had took a brief hiatus came out with these three sets last year i think there's supposed to be 2022 stuff coming eventually just like everything else is delayed so hopefully we get that stuff and hopefully it's good as well so in here we got a 50 card base set 30 rookies numbered to 9.99 and 10 horizontal rookies numbered to 199 uh there's also red and black parallels of those three groups the base reds are numbered to 249 the base blacks number to 25 the rookies reds are 199 rookie black are 99 then the horizontal rookie reds are 49 and horizontal rookies black are 25 and of course being artifacts lots of autographs in here lots of memorabilia in here it's kind of the whole point of artifacts is the mem cards so you get various different versions of autographed mem cards so starting with gold spectrum autograph which are numbered it's also like the base versions of those okay, so there's black auto additions that apply to the rookies and the horizontal rookies and then the main rookies which are like that numbered 30 group of 30 cards are numbered to 10 those are red parallels so there's rookie autos to 149, rookie auto gold to 25, rookie auto black to 101. As I alluded to, there's autograph relics, which are all various numbers based on the different kind of relic they have. There's also orm signatures in here, which people kind of don't like in the uh, hockey artifacts. Um, I, here, I think they're a little bit more sought after. They're not like a bounty card. And these are cards that use gold light FX technology, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. It has like a gold tone to it. And then there's also uh, auto facts, one in 18, scratch signatures, one in 120. There's low numbered ball marker autograph relics. Those ones display some of the less common memorabilia. There's a course of a champion, one in 460. That's got Tiger Woods autographs in there. There's also a few different variations of that one. But uh, pulling a tiger would be unbelievable. Probably won't happen, but you never know. It's kind of what the, the main guy you're after here, realistically. Anytime there's golf, it's going to be a tiger. Then there's also some course relic autographs. You get a little piece of sand, a little, like a little vial of sand from TPC Sawgrass. There's also Black Diamond in here, which is kind of like a, like a neat parallel again to the hockey world because Black Diamond obviously was a hockey set. It is a hockey set now, although not one that's an overpriced one. But just these are just like, just like inserts in here now is Black Diamond but there's a whole bunch of different versions of them. There's uh, just like in the hockey ones, there's singles, doubles, triples, and quads in veterans and rookies. Then there's also Black Diamond Gemography, so like signed signed Black Diamond cards. For, so for some of the other hits here, there's tour-worn, player-worn relics, and signed versions of those as well. So you've got ball markers, ball ball marker artifacts, big drive fragments, big drive fragments premium, hole-in-one remnants, legendary course relics, match play relics, uh, multi-major winners memorabilia, and multi-major winners memorabilia premium. So that could be guys like Arnold Palmer, Tiger Woods, uh, some of the, you know, the legends of the game of course there are also standard orm cards unfortunately they're one for six six packs so that's another box hit unfortunately so hopefully we don't pull those orm cards i was hoping those weren't in here but it looks like they are so anyway the uh, box break on average is three hits which are either memorabilia autograph orm or diamond relic four seal numbered cards and one additional hit or seal numbered card so i sure hope it's not an orm because uh, if it's anything like the hockey cards i just don't want an orm so checklist pretty good you know tiger woods is in here obviously uh some of the other classic jack nicholas i mean he's right on the cover there golden bear right there there's also a little golden bear logo on there which i love to see so jack Jack Nicholas Tiger Woods. This is also like the other sets I've mentioned. The rookies are really weird. Basically, if they were a rookie between 2014, which was the last time that Upper Deck produced these, and 2021, they're considered a rookie, even if like they were technically a rookie in like 2015 or 2016. So you'll pull some weird rookies out of here. But first time they've ever had a card, so fair enough. It is what it is. Male and female golfers in here as well, so it can pull a female golfer. There you go. So let's bust her open and uh, see what we shoot. Probably score better than I do on the actual golf course. But that's not. That's setting the bar pretty low for someone who golfs a lot, or at least did golf a lot. Golf's a hard game. 
So there's our pack. So four cards in each pack. So I wager based on the thickness that there's probably fillers in here, I would imagine. Love seeing Jack on the packager. Again, I'm going to attempt to use the game use glove with the whole rip here. We'll see. Yeah, so definitely a filler in there. So, all right, so there's, so you got one of the legends there, Payne Stewart. Greatest golfers, unfortunately, died way too young. Plane crash. Pretty sad story, actually. They all flying to a golf course. Don't remember the exact story, but the plane cabin depressurized, and they all died of hypoxia. Plane flew into the round of gas, crashed into the ocean. Pretty sad. He was an absolute beauty. And, of course, dressed amazing. And a great hat. Absolutely phenomenal hat. So there's Payne. All right, so we'll go off the back here, because if it's like artifacts, the hits right behind the decoy. So we got Patton Kazire. Okay, I've heard of Patton Kazire before. So there's the back. Didn't show the back in the first card. There you go. So you, once again, you get their 2019 earnings and their career earnings. No majors for Patton. One top 10 finish in 2019, 13 total, and two pay. He's won a couple times, two tour wins. So $7 million. He's only won twice. So the good golfers do make bank. Patton Desire. And then behind him, we've got Azahara Munoz. So a female golfer there. And all right. So our first card here. Ooh, autograph. All right. So an autofax. So just a sticker auto. Very much similar to uh, the hockey version of Pat Perez there. Pat, your your signature kind of looks like PB there. So it's Pat Perez there. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of a cool card there. So there you go. Non-numbered autofax. Very similar to like the autofax in hockey. Non-numbered, but we'll hit a Pat Perez. So there you go. So that's neat. So first auto in the first pack. Definitely a rookie here. Pat's been on the tour a long time. I think he's 46 years old or something like that. I remember reading. So uh, yeah, three wins. Perennial gu guy's been on the tour forever. Uh, doesn't win a ton, but you know, he's always in the hunt. So he's got 64 top 10 finishes. So a 28. $20 million career earnings. So Pat's, Pat's a veteran for sure. So there we go. So first auto, we're on the board. I do like the base cards. I think the base cards are nicer than the, at least the, this year's artifacts. I think I like these base cards better. So one thing about the artifacts is uh, the Photoshop background and it doesn't always work. All right. So one of the all-time female greats there, Nancy Lopez. And uh, behind that, we got Harris English. And we'll pull from the back here. Payne Stewart again. So we're already getting dupes. That's a problem with that. With a 50-card base set, you're going to get doubles. That's the way it goes. And then we got, so there's Harris there. And then, all right. So... So, all right, so an artifact, the first artifact rookie here. And do I know who this is? I don't recognize him. Norman Zhang. So our first numbered rookie there. 36 of 199. So not a rookie that I know of. So three events as of 2019. He made the quest cut twice and he's made 48 grand. So realistic uh, career earnings there. First rookie. Oh yeah, not, not one of the big rookies, but hey, rookie nonetheless. So Adrian Otega. Otegi. Not exactly sure I said. Never heard of him either. And we got Tim Heron. The veteran of the tour. Got James Hahn and artifacts. So another artifacts rookies here of Austin Cook. The number to 999. Another guy that so he he's a rookie. Rookie. But he's got 62 career events played with uh, one win and seven top fish. So, I mean, he's obviously been around for a while. Yeah, turned pro in 2014. So, basically, right after they stopped making the golf cards, he turned pro. So, not really a rookie anymore, but he was at one point. I guess it's sort of an interesting thing about these particular sets and that, like, big span they had where they didn't have cards. It's that a lot of these guys, technically, careers have already ended. If, you know, if they're only on tour and only relevant for, like, a couple years. You don't really hear about them anymore because they're already sort of, like, not, not front runners anymore. So, kind of interesting thought. So, I got James Hahn again. And we got... Tom Lovelady. So all these guys have, these guys have never heard of. Running career 2017. Been 42 events, but uh, must not have finished very high because I don't recognize his name. And then, all right, so we got maybe an artifact or hole-in-one remnants of Natalie Galbus. All right, so that's cool. That's a neat shirt, actually. So Natalie Galbus, one of the one of the better female golfers. One of the female golfers that I obviously know her name. So she's, she's been around for a few years now and has done pretty well. Certified by Predict has been worn in a golf tournament by the future player. So that's nice. You assume that that means she was playing at the time. Kind of a neat swatch, though. It's a cool shirt. Crazy thing is you could probably look back through, like, the tournaments and see where she wore that shirt. I don't have that kind of time. I'm not going to do that. But you could. Our first memorabilia card there, Natalie Galbus shirt. All right, so two of the hits out of the way. We're due for one more. Sometimes there's four in here, though. You can get boxes that have four hits. All right, Tim Heron again. So yeah, you get a lot of doubles with uh, Jason Kokrak. Actually done really well last year. He won once for sure last year. One, one of the early tournaments last year he won. I don't remember what it was, but I know he's won. So Kokrak's pretty good. And I think we got an Orem card behind that. And then Oler's Tiger. So one of the best base cards to pull. Love to see that. Let's look at his career earning numbers. Yeah, there you go. And that's a number. 118 million. Look at, look at the events. 358 events played, made the cut 325 times, 81 wins, 197 top 10 finishes, and of course, 15 majors. But yeah, that would include his 2019 Masters win, right? So, and of course, I mean, he's worth billions of dollars because obviously he made all his money from, well, made more of his money from endorsements. So there's Tiger. Awesome. And behind him, we got, so an Orem Artifacts card. This can either be signed or not signed. That's Henrik Stenson. And yeah, okay, it's just a regular one. So unfortunately, this I think might be considered a hit. Hopefully not, but... Kind of a neat card, just nothing too special. So or Stenson, Stenson was really good there. He's kind of fizzled out the last few years here, but um, a lot of wins. Won the, I know he's won the Tour Championship, right? Yeah, he had a really good year there where he sort of won everything in the playoffs. So there's Henrik on the Orm card. Well, hopefully that was not considered a hit. We'll see. 
So I'd like to pull one more auto out of here. There's Julie Inkster. Again, another sort of legend of the ladies game. There's Cheyenne Woods. That's Tiger's niece who, nothing special. She's won like twice on the European Tour, two or three times. She's just like, she's Tiger's niece. So that's kind of her claim to fame. And she's a decent golfer, obviously. But and behind that, we had Jason Kokrak again. And all right. So another rookie here. So rookie red. Of Danny Willett, or that's a nice one. So one of the horizontal ones. Those are a little harder to hit. 39 to 49 for Danny Willett, 2016 Masters winner. Hasn't done a whole lot since then. He's done okay for yeah. I mean he's been on the tour since. What did he turn? Turned pro in 2008, and his career winning is 4.1 million. So other than uh, winning the Masters, I don't think he's uh, done done too much else. One PGA Tour win. Seven top 10 finishes, the one major win, six international. So he's done better on the European Tour than he has on the PGA Tour. That's where he spends most of his time nowadays, I think. But all right, so Brittany Lincecum. Got Ben Crane, another another veteran. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like another Orm card, which is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. Stacy Lewis, and it's an Orm card of, oh, well, Tiger Woods on the Orm card. All right, well, not a big fan of the Orm cards, but at least it's a Tiger card, so so that should have some value to it anyway, so that's a cool card. My phone hates this card. It just doesn't know how to reflect it there. That's about the best way to show it. They're just weird cards. They don't uh, they don't display very well, because like, if you're not in the right light, you can't see them. Um, yeah, but hey, it's Tiger, so we'll, we'll, we'll take that. The big cat on any card is, uh, is welcome. Obviously, that card with a signature on it would have been huge. All right, last pack here. I think that'll be it for our hits. This is probably just a rookie of some kind. So Stacy Lewis got Lizette Salas. Got Lori Kane. So when I talked about her before in one of the other videos, one of our best Canadian golfers we've ever had was the best Canadian golfer we've ever had. Now that Brooke Henderson's around, though, she's she's a lot better. So last one. So it's an artifacts rookie of Nikolai Hogard. I think I pulled a rookie of him from the other set. So that one's number 10, 999. It's just a basic rookie. From Pro in 2019. So he's a reasonably fresh rookie. Four made the cut four times in 11 events played for $242,000. Not everybody makes millions golfing. It's a tough go. There you go. All right. So recap there. So we got a couple of rookies, the number of rookies you get. Nothing special on the rookies. The Willett's actually really nice, especially being a horizontal one. They're a little harder to hit. So that being two different red rookies. One's number to 199 for Zhang there. And then the horizontal one for Willett's a little harder to hit. So 39 to 49. So good card master. Like I said, master's winner. Decent guy. Had the most success out of these guys anyway i do like the i do like the red foil on there the red foil is cool good looking card all right and then we had so for our hits per se so we had dan or henrik stenson on the orm card we had our pat perez auto veteran guy nothing special there every time i look at this every time i look at this i just think peanut butter even though it's a p so i don't know what like that's a p but what's this supposed to be i don't think he was doing there and then the memorabilia cards the remnants there it's kind of a neat shirt so not the biggest name but you know natalie golf is one of the better female golfers and then of course my favorite favorite hits in the box anything with tiger is good and uh, i would just have been happy with the tiger base card but hitting tiger on the Orm card is cool. Too bad it's not a signed card, but still sort of a still a cool card to hit. So not too sad. Not not sad about that. There you go. Compared to the other ones, I like the base. This is this is probably the nicest base card I think compared to the other ones. It's got the most foil and the shiniest look to it. Good photography. So like that. Uh, game use was fun set. Game use I think is more you're more likely to hit like a, a cooler autograph card I guess in game use. But of course it's more money and you're getting less cards, so you always have to factor that in there. SPA was nice too. I mean if you like if you're a guy who likes the uh, the hard signed autos, then I mean SPA is the only option. That was pretty cool there. But if you like mem cards and I like them all actually. I don't know if I really have a favorite set here. They all sort of have their own virtues and their own things that I like about them. So, I don't know, value-wise, like anything in this hobby, if you hit, you know, you got to hit two or three of the big guys and hit a good card of them to actually ever get your money back. So, I always go into this knowing that uh, the money is probably gone and that's fine. You just have fun, collect some cool cards and uh, share them with you guys. So, I like doing that. So, there we go. So, that's all three sets. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. If you haven't watched the other videos, go back, check them out. Like I said, I've done Game Used and SPA. You can watch those and just decide which one of those you like the best. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, like the golf cards, like seeing golf cards, let me know if you want to see more feel free to subscribe to the channel we do golf cards every now and then it's mostly hockey cards but uh golf's my second favorite sport so I do golf, golf cards here and there and uh, i put this put the stupid hat on put the glove on do some golf cards every now and then so if you like that uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and uh thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one